Welcome to Sunday School. We are glad you are here. We can't be together at church. So we are glad you are joining us for Sunday School at home. So come on in. And find a comfortable seat to hear the parable of the mustard seed. Good morning. Welcome to Church School at East Liberty Presbyterian Church. We're happy that you're here today. We miss seeing you, your church school teachers, your whole church family sends out a big, we love you and we miss you. We hope we can be together soon. Remember to check out our church website. There are still some things going on electronically that you can do on your computers. We still are broadcasting live the two services, the Journey Worship and the 11 a.m. service on both YouTube and Facebook. So be sure to check them out and you can watch together with your families. It's kind of a gray cloudy day out there, so I decided I needed to do something a little different, a little fun. I wore my dog socks today. I remember seeing all of your different socks. I remember seeing Pokemon and rainbows and unicorns, and I sure missed them because they made me smile. Mostly, I miss you and I miss your hugs. Hope you're staying safe. The Lord be with you and also with you. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like a pshh. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like a pshh. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got love like an ocean, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got love like an ocean, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. Thanks for singing with me. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. When we sing these words, we know that it's time to get ready to hear our story of God. So get yourselves comfortable. We're going to hear the story of the mustard seed. is a parable. It's gold and parables are precious like gold. It almost looks like a present. And parables are like presents. They've already been, been given to us. We can't buy them or steal them. They are already ours. They belong to us. There's another reason why this might be a parable. It has a lid. And sometimes parables seem to have lids on them. But then when you open up the lid, there's something very precious inside. I know. Let's look inside and see if there's anything that will let us know if this is a parable. Wow. This is really yellow. I wonder what could be so yellow. Reminds me a little bit of the sun. Or it could just be a big yellow ball. Once there was someone who said such amazing things and who did such amazing things that people began to follow him. And as they followed, he told them about the kingdom of heaven. But they did not understand. 
They had never been to the kingdom of heaven. They didn't know anyone who had been there. They didn't even know where it was. So one day, they simply had to ask him, what is the kingdom of heaven like? And he said to them, the kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard. Which a person took and planted in the ground. And as the sun came out, and shone on the seed. And when the rains came down and watered the seed, the seed began to grow and grow and grow until that tiny, tiniest seed of all, the mustard seed, became the largest shrub of all. And when it had grown, it was so big that the birds of the air came to the mustard shrub And they made nests there in the branches of the mustard tree. and they sat on its branches and made their homes there. I wish you were here with me so you could be one of the birds to come make your home in this tree. Birds have names. I wonder how the birds feel about this tree. I wonder where the birds are coming from. I wonder. How many birds could really fit in this tree? I wonder where this tree might be. I wonder where this whole place might be. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear the word of God. The story that we heard today, the parable of the mustard seed, can be found in the Gospel of Matthew. That's in the New Testament in chapter 33. It's just a couple of verses tucked in there. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all your seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and perch in its branches. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> now it's time.
time to pray to God. We can pray out loud, we can pray silently. Sometimes we pray when we sing. Sometimes we pray deep within our hearts and God hears us no matter how. There are things that we pray out of gratitude that we thank God for. Sometimes there are things that we're sad about or that we're worried about. And we can bring all of these things to God. We lay before God our prayers of thanksgiving and our prayers of petition and our concerns, things that are deep on our heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Dear God, we thank you for the beauty of today. I thank you for the birds that I can hear singing outside. We thank you for your story of the mustard seed, that there is enough room in the kingdom of heaven for all the birds to come and to build their nests and to feel safe. We thank you for our home families and for our church family. We thank you for those who care for one another, who are giving of their time and their energy to care for others. We thank you for our families and our pets that are keeping us company at this time. We're sad that there are some people that we can't see now. I think especially of um, my in-laws or maybe of the grandparents of some of the families in our church, of some of our children. But we know that the best thing to do right now is to stay safe and to stay at home. But remind us always to call them and tell them how much we love them. We are so grateful that they are in our lives. Keep us safe at this time. Give us your peace when we're afraid. Thank you, God, for your many gifts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now the light of Christ that was in one place can be in many places all at the same time. <clears throat> so I hope you will find something today. Look, I'm gonna challenge you to look for two things that bring you joy and make you happy. Maybe some things that make you laugh. And also look for two things that you wanna thank God for, that you're grateful for. And I wish for you God's blessings for the coming week that you may Remember that God loves you, that, he, that God is with you every day. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Amen. <laughs>